Hey everyone, this is a really quick video to just let you know that Synology has officially released the release candidate version of DSM-7. So what that means is that we are nearing release. Now this is not necessarily the version that will eventually be rolled out to everyone's Synology NAS, but it is a release candidate version. Now it's important to highlight that this can go through multiple iterations. So there's generally a release candidate 1, 2, 3, etc. Basically, this just says that the beta is completed at this point, they found and fixed most of the bugs, and at this point they're comfortable pushing out the release candidate version. Now that's not to say that you should run this on your production NAS. While the idea is that this is supposed to be a more stable version than the beta, that is not to say that all of the bugs have been worked out at this point. Basically, they're going to release this. If they find any major critical bugs, they're going to patch it, and then they're going to release a new version until we get to the point that the official version is released. So I have a video that I released a while ago, which basically shows how you can install the beta version, or at this point, the release candidate version of DSM-7 on your NAS in a virtual machine. This is the safest way to do it, in my opinion, if you'd like to actually test it out. Now, it's not uh, supported on all NAS devices, so if your NAS is able to run Virtual Machine Manager, generally, you shouldn't have any problems. So I'll leave a pop-up for that now if you're interested in checking that out but this is more of a heads up. So at this point, I don't think a formal release date for DSM-7 has been announced, but we are getting closer to that point, and I wouldn't be surprised if DSM-7 is released over the course of the next few months. So one thing I found interesting that was pointed out on the Reddit thread for the release candidate is that uh, certain USB devices, Wi-Fi dongles, Bluetooth dongles, etc., are not going to be supported in uh, DSM-7. So for the majority of people, they shouldn't be impacted. This is really only going to impact you if you are using any type of USB device on your NAS. So if you are, you have to be aware of that moving forward because it unfortunately looks like Synology removed support for some of these devices. So I'll leave a link to the release notes in the description. I'll also leave a link to the tutorial that will show you how to install the release candidate in a virtual machine. And that should wrap up the video for today. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks guys.